I'm Mar Jennings, America's top lifestyle expert, known for my six casual luxury design principles. I call my world Life on Mars because it's a universe of cohesive design made simple and smart. I renovate and design homes from top to bottom, inside and out, and reveal how casual luxury is the cure for all design dilemmas. Real designs, real budgets, and real people. Out of this world makeovers right here in Connecticut. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, elves. Hey. Okay, what do you think? I love what you did with the tree. I love the real branches in here. I Isn't think that it looks fun? so cool. Yeah. Taking an artificial tree and just giving it a twist and making it relevant to being a real tree by putting the branches in it. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I love the holidays. And most importantly, I love the fact that people get very festive and it's a happy time. It's a time where decorations are elevated and it's the spirit of all the joy and the love and the merry that comes together for this month. I guess the bungalow's up next, right? So what's going on, you guys? Well, the bungalow is going to be one of our best projects yet. We're gonna take that 1950s bungalow and bring it right to current times. The Arnold's is finished. That was a huge project. I cannot believe the transformation. So now it's house number two. These guys are off to the bungalow and they've got so much work ahead of them. I think the most important part of this transformation is the fact that we're gonna take what is appearing to be very small spaces and make it very livable spaces. So where we can't go this way, we're gonna go this way. Exactly. I think people are gonna be shocked when they see the game plan that we have for this. Renovating the bungalow and also celebrating a holiday in between, well, I never really shut down. I'm never off. So for me, the holidays, I don't get a vacation. Built in 1950, and it's had four owners since I've lived here on the block. So the living room has a nice open concept space here. But what I'm going to do to enhance this space is that I'm going to tear down this area. Above us, there is an attic area that's not being utilized. So I want to maximize that attic space and cathedral the ceilings in here. I can open this area up and take in a more gracious entrance into this Four season porch. I don't have the budget to redo all the cabinets, so I'm going to restore them. I'm gonna put a new countertop in here. I'm gonna take this refrigerator. I'm going to try to relocate it over here to where the washer and dryer is. Bad idea. This is going to go into the new master bath area. Most of the budget is going to be spent on the bathroom and adding a second bathroom. This bungalow has one bathroom and two bedrooms. That's challenging. So the idea is to renovate this bathroom and remove the bathtub, put a stand-up shower, remove it, completely gut everything on the inside and make it more functional, but also a dual purpose bathroom. The ultimate goal for the bungalow is to get someone in there that's gonna love it just as much as the people that are renovating it. That would be the most perfect relationship. After all, they are going to be my neighbor, and anyone buying that house is going to get what I like to refer to, gift with purchase. You buy the bungalow, you get me as the package deal. All right, so here, so they got the doors down. Great. They're starting to do the fireplace over here. What do you need me to do today? So I'm with Yvonne, and we're taking a look at the blueprints, and I see there is no wall on that blueprint. And then I look up, and there's a wall. And I'm just waiting just for that little nod, that little, just to go in and take it down. When getting out the door is a challenge, finding a new home can feel impossible. You need someone who really knows the market. It's time for Elliman. The thing about your first real job is that it means your first real apartment. And that means your first real party. You need someone who knows how you roll. It's time for Elliman. 
I'll never forget one of my favorite family memories is on Christmas morning and I must have been like four or five years old and we came down and Santa had been there and there was a town that was on the um, like spread out on wood we played with that forever that was one of the best best memories yeah, let's just keep them all in there together right now, and then we'll go from there. As you know, over the duration of being at Green Owl for season one, I've formed a wonderful relationship with Yvonne. So much so that I thought that season two, a wonderful way to incorporate Yvonne in a bigger role would be to partner up and help oversee the bungalow renovation. When Mar approached me and mentioned that there was a bungalow that needed renovation, I was all over it. With Green Isle being finished, it was kind of quiet. I was really used to working together and I really missed it. So the idea of another project, I was all over it. All right, so here, so they got the doors down. Great. They're starting to do the fireplace over here. All right, so that's the focus. Yeah, and then they're gonna take the closet down on the reverse side. What do you need me to do today? So I'm with Yvonne and we're taking a look at the blueprints and I see there is no wall on that blueprint. And then I look up and there's a wall. And I'm just waiting just for that little nod, that little, just to go in and take it down. This wall needs to come down. Okay. You wanna give them a hand with that? I gave Mar the okay to take down those walls. I knew I was in good hands. You got my that'd stuff? Be, that'd be great. Yeah, I sure do. Here's some glasses, some gloves. Okay. And the guys inside have a sledgehammer for you. I love demo day and the fact that I can roll up my sleeves and get my hands dirty and take something down and begin the evolution of a transformation. It's hard for people to realize what it's going to look like at the very end, but I embrace the opportunity to do the demo because I'm a demo kind of guy. I like to take things down and rebuild it in a brand new way. So when I can get my hands dirty and take things down myself, that's the best part of the project. When I first saw the bungalow, there had been so many owners, it really looked like it hadn't been loved. We were ready to really give it the proper love it deserved. So we've made some great progress. Clearly we've taken down half this wall in the kitchen. We're removing this closet, giving this foyer entrance area a much grander open concept feeling. People love open concepts. And when you're dealing with such a small, little bungalow, whenever you can give the illusion of a much bigger space, well, that's the way to go. Every couple of years, I open up my home and my garden for the public to come and to visit Roseburg Gardens. A couple of years ago, I opened it up for a holiday house tour. Take a look. It was the quintessential holiday gift to give ourselves to come and kick off the season seeing Mars beautiful, beautiful home. Every little detail you notice was just even better than the next. We oh, actually don't want to leave. Yeah, we absolutely it's love unbelievable. Mar. Come on in and experience the magic of Westport during the holiday season. Love it. It's a beautiful house. It was absolutely magical the way they used all the different rooms and spaces. And I love the colors, the the feeling of it's comfortable, but extremely elegant at the same time. I love the simple elegance. It's absolutely spectacular, beautiful taste. I love it, I want it. <laughs> it's like a dream, it's gorgeous. In this room, it affords you the best view of the gardens. All the furniture in here has been kept small in scale, so it's not overpowering to the room. To me, this is like decorator porn. We came down here specifically to see this house. I thought it was beautiful. The house is gorgeous, stunning inside, elegant. Tastefully just, yeah, yeah, very elegant. It's a silver tip fur. They grow silver, silver tip fur, and they grow out in Northern California. I could move in. I'd like to move in. Rosebrook Gardens even has carolers. Take it away. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Mars has really shared with us 
perfection as it relates to a casual lifestyle, and that's what so many of us are looking for today. My mom and I love to come to things like this. Um, we always like to get inspiration, especially around the holidays, for our own house, although I can't execute it nearly as well as Mark can. <laughs> yeah, we need Mar over to, to help us do it all. But. stuff off the shutter. That's so clever. This is probably one of the most inviting homes I've ever been in. It's yeah. fabulous. This house in I the want back. the little man cave in the back. Oh, admiring your place. Oh, thank you. Everything, every detail is gorgeous. Thank you. We've been big fans of Mars for years now, and we've um, gone to his different talks at the Hillstead Museum, and we have his first book, and it was so excited when this book came out. So. Can't wait. Can't wait to read it. Paul's fantastic. He sends me throughout the country, he books me on different appearances, and the best appearances and the best projects that I do are when they're closest to home and they're giving back to my local community. When the housing market is particularly challenging, when isn't it? Find the agent who can find the answers. It's time for Element. When it's time for the next chapter, you want to find a buyer who will value your home as much as you did. It's time for Element. My favorite thing about the holidays is giving gifts. I love to shop and I really like to try and find things that are special for each and every person that I really care about. I pride myself on that and I really try and spread joy that way. The key here is to always look at every nook and cranny and how can you maximize that. So we wanted to make sure that whatever we did, we would take the bathroom that was existing, which is this space, and redefine the space in a more functional way. We moved the washer and dryer right here. We took it from the kitchen area and we have now a full shower. We took a closet that was in the adjacent guest room and now we blew into it and that's where the toilet's going to go. We have the shower here and we have the washer and dryer here. What we're going to do is do a barn door application. That way when you get to the washer and dryer area, you slide the barn door over and it covers the shower. And when you need the shower, you slide the barn door over and you have access to the shower. So it's a very, very decorative application, but it's also a clever way to be able to access this area here without really having a traditional door come in this way into the door that you're coming into the room. So, uh, great design. Mar does such a great job at the holidays. I mean, look, behind me, it's amazing, and people love that stuff, and they, they follow him on, on social media, and so I thought it'd be fun for him to do a holiday lecture. So part of the things that I do is I book those, but then when it comes time, I get to actually introduce him as well. Paul's fantastic. He sends me throughout the country, he books me on different appearances, and the best appearances and the best projects that I do are when they're closest to home and they're giving back to my local community. So without further ado, please put your hands together with a warm welcome for my boss, Mark. Thank you, Paul. Are you ready to get Mari? Come on! But it's such a pleasure to be here. So during my holiday lecture, I'm referring to my designs as casual luxury. After all, that's a brand that I've been working on for quite some time, and it really is the essence of what I'm all about. Attainability and the luxury component is how we incorporate it into our own homes. It's the magic of the mix. So designing a holiday theme around casual luxury is pretty simple. So creating a custom wreath, putting up your Christmas tree, small vignettes of decor, all those were just inspiring everyone in the audience. And I could totally see from their faces that they were loving it. And create winter interest versus holiday specific. It will carry you throughout the season. That's so important. I can't tell you how many times I see 
like a poor pathetic planter. It looked really good in the summer, but somehow they forgot about it. You know, come, come August, it's too hot. It doesn't look so good. I planted it when? March. You know, someone's just gonna buy me a mum and I'll shove it in there and call it. <laughs> this holiday lecture was perfect given the fact that a couple of years before I did the holiday house tour where I opened up my home and all my Martian fans, as well as everybody else that was in the area, came to visit Rosebrook Gardens. So I turned that tour into a lecture and then I'm able to present it and people could relive that tour without being here. That was magical. There's no better word, magical. Now with only a couple of days till Christmas and the activities taking place next door with all the craziness and Team Mar here, I thought I would page everyone. Hey everyone, let's meet in the living room. I have an announcement. Inside or out, he's the guy. Six clever principles for you to try. Learn casual luxury, and you'll agree. Life on Mars is the place to be. Now with only a couple of days till Christmas and the activities taking place next door with all the craziness and Team Mar here, I thought I would page everyone. Hey everyone, let's meet in the living room. I have an announcement. You guys are such hard workers. I want you to put everything down. I'm gonna give you the rest of the afternoon off for some okay. shopping, great. Westport downtown. How's that idea? That sounds fun. Great, is this, right? this is overtime, right? It's not overtime, but you are getting paid, so you will get your Marnie. Don't worry, okay? But put it all down, come on. Let's go, the rest of the afternoon is yours. Thank you. Get your Christmas nice list. So guys, um, Randy is the president of the Downtown Merchant Association, a position that he holds very, very dear and has been a pioneer doing wonderful things for the downtown. And this is a perfect example of that, is the horse and buggy ride. Let's talk about that. So this is a tradition that's been going on for a while. So uh, we actually do it with the Chamber of Commerce together just to give it that a little extra flair to downtown, uh, make it feel like a small town Christmas, basically. So I tried a few things, the caroling, uh, the horse and buggy, we're obviously you know, it's any small town competing with the malls, the new malls that are going in. And so we're trying to maintain a character in downtown that makes people want to shop here and ultimately want to live here. So. Well, wouldn't you agree that it's uh, the magic of the mix? Because we do have the bigger chains, but we also have a lot of charm and character that makes us original to what Westport and the arts were all about. That's exactly right. So Westport did start as an arts colony. So that's one of the things that uh, makes it unique. It is a town that people turn out for. You know, it's like this summer we did our fine arts festival as you were here for. We had over 8,000 8, people. Next fall we'll be doing a Westoberfest. Actually is a new thing that we're going to be doing as well. And so, fashion on me. Yes, and then we're going to do a fashion week this week as year as well. Okay, yeah. good. So you got a lot in the works. A lot of things happening. Well, thank you so much for sharing thank all that great you. news. And we're thrilled. And being from Westport and watching it evolve, I must say there's no better place in the world. I've traveled everywhere and I always get homesick for Westport. Now we got to go spend some money. Oh, let's go in here. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Yeah. This is I should be really cool. This looks awesome. <laughs> I love the holiday parties, the festive cheer, the decorations, and the goodwill of this time of year. Oh, what fun to go downtown in Westport. It's a perfect New England village. 
horse and buggy rides, carolers, people to shop for. I told you I'd finally bring you to death too. I know, I'm so excited, I'm finally here. It smells amazing. It was such a great day. You know, when you're down there and all the activity going on, the horses, the, the shoppers, all of the lights, uh, it was amazing. It, you know, it's what it feels like, what you think it's gonna feel like to be in like a small town during the holidays. I love that. One for Mar, and two for me. One for Paul, two for me. So what do you think? Wow, looks so cool. Wow. You can't have a holiday without some sparkle. Let's oh, go God. check out the jewelry. We had a great shopping day here in the village of Westport downtown. And on behalf of everyone at Life on Mars, the home makeover show, and the Westport community, we wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. No matter how you celebrate, may the peace, the joy, and the wonder of the season be with you always. Keep it Mari and keep, keep it, it casual. casual. Next time on Life on Mars, the home makeover show. All right, we have made tremendous progress here at the bungalow, and now it's truly taking shape. We can come in and do all that magical, important mill work. Dumpster diving. Never throw away windows. Hello, Clarice. Tick tock, my watch is ticking, but there's still a lot to be done, and we're pushing as fast as we possibly can. Life on Mars, the home makeover show, is brought to you by Douglas Elliman Real Estate. It's time for Elliman.